Ratna now joins us, Executive VP Markets and Corporate Affairs at IFL. Sanjeev, good morning. You know, the top of the mind topic today is Reliance Industries. Uh, uh, there's uh, a big find by uh, uh, SEBI, of course, uh, uh, not by Reliance's standards, uh, but uh, 400 crores plus penalty. But what do you think it means, uh, in, especially in terms of, uh, uh, you know, any corporate governance premium and also the fact that the stock has done so well over the last one month? Uh, do you see a risk to that rally because of this issue? Yeah, I will. Anuj, it tells us that justice can be delayed but not denied. <laughs> Just on a lighter note, what was there 10 years back is now come to rule and I think it's a prudent judgment, whatever, uh, I won't go into the pros and cons, but I think it will be a matter of time as we get over that. It is a little bit of a setback that a premium company like Reliance will not be on the derivative side. So, uh, however, I would say any weakness as of today for this event would be an opportunity to buy for the long-term investors. Because for once after almost seven, eight years, Reliance is now the bellwether which is actually leading the Nifty higher. And if we have to get to, you know, levels of 10,000 by June, then Reliance should be closer to 1450, 1500. And we think that uh, any weakness for this event will be hardly, uh, you know, it will be all bought into uh, and, and we'll take it from there. Okay, so use any weakness on reliance to buy into that stock. That's the word coming in. Hi, Sanjeev. Good morning. Good speaking with you as always. Um, the other issue that people have been discussing all of last week is when Finance Minister Arun Jaitley spoke to us at the IBLA Awards, telling us that there could be some new methods of, you know, to resolve the NPA issue in banks. Would you be hopeful and would you buy into any of these PSU banks or even uh, increase your allocation further in private sector banks on account of this? Well, Sonia, that's a glass half full or half empty. We've heard a lot about all these uh, events and how a bad bank or such a, such a thing can come into play. I think right now the government machinery, the balance sheet is strong enough. If they went ahead with these measures, it would be a it would be you know a, a lot of uh, it would send a real positive signal for global as well as domestic investors, and the banking system would feel more secure. But I think uh, on any uh, other reason, you know, we are rightly of the view that the bond deals may have peaked and we don't see the bond deals, uh, you know, fall, uh, falling from here. So we think that uh, uh, the best of treasury profit may have played out for PSU banks. If you have to take a view, you have to take a view on the back that credit will expand in the second half. And that should be a game changer because we know their modus operandi of uh, coming into the retail side rather than too much of dependence on corporate loans. That could be the key. So, uh, so we are relatively sanguine on few names, just to name SBI, Bank of Baroda and Union Bank continue to be three top picks which we have in the PSU side. Uh, a 